What's up, guys? It's Brendan from Market Makers. Guys, yesterday I told you the DXY is going to pump. Bitcoin's going to start to dump. Did anybody else say that on YouTube? I don't know. A lot of people updated their thumbnails to 130K, 87K incoming. Guys, you have to understand macroeconomics, and most people in the crypto TA space do not. Okay, They don't track the dollar. They don't understand what's happening with the Dow. They don't understand what's happening with inflation. They don't understand the real estate bubble. You have to be very aware of your environment. Now, I told you this pattern was going to pump the dollar. I predicted yesterday the dollar is going to make a new yearly high here in November. And look at this bull shark pattern. Boom. Ignition. Okay, this is a rocket. If I was Crypto Kirby, there'd be rockets going across the screen right now. But I don't have a vocoder, so I can't be Crypto Kirby. But if you see this, we already got past the 1618. This is going up. Okay, this is going up to the 2618. The dollar looks super. Super bullish. I love it when people tell me patterns don't work. Fibonacci X5 patterns don't work. They work very, very well when there's no manipulation in the market, my friends. You have to be very careful with the manipulation like there is in crypto. And let's look what happened. You know, when I released that video yesterday, I said, watch this grid, right? Watch this grid. And what happened? Look at this wick down. Boom. That happened after my video, right? After I recorded my video. That wick down. And I gave you the target box here of what was going to happen. And of course, we're just rolling down. We fell below. 61.3 in GAN. I can tell you where we're going to. We're going to the 50s, okay? Doesn't mean we have to go to the 50s. No. 58.3 is the first pickup of a pattern here. And this is a shark pattern. And then 56, what is that? 56. 975 about so 58.3 to 56.975 looks to be the destination and again guys it's all about confluence of things i had fibs telling me this was a pivot point look at look at the candle i mean look at the bar i don't trade with candles look at the bar Hits the hits the fib circle, boom, drops to two thousand plus points. Okay, and then it's just a, a weakened animal. It's like a snake bitten animal. It's weakened, weakened, and it just starts falling apart. Okay, hits the fib circle, boom, drops again. Guys, Fibonacci pattern trading is very powerful, and it gives you predictions. But overall, I already knew this would happen. I didn't even have to look at the chart. I just had to know what was going on with the DXY. Okay, again. 20 plus years trading Forex. You to I told you yesterday, you cannot have a super strong dollar making a new yearly high and have Bitcoin go up. This isn't rocket science, but again, it's just experience. It's part of the benefit of being old, that and the great hair. But outside of that, guys, Bitcoin looks to me to be going into the 50s. Now, does that mean I think Bitcoin's going to zero? Does that mean I'm Dan Penna now? No, I don't, guys. I think it's going to get picked up by this bullish pattern. And then, like I said before, once we get our, our correction into the 50s, it really matters what Bitcoin does next. Let me kill this... Uh let me kill this fib circles here so we can get some price targets. What Bitcoin does next from here, okay? Let's see. Let's get some price targets. So if we go down, let's just be generous and say we come up to right here. We come up to the 58 level, okay? Because this, this, this could bounce off 58.9. The 618.62K, that just brings you right back to where you fell from, okay? You have to get up, okay? We have to get the price of Bitcoin above 63.8 or you are in a descending market and you're hearing it here. I gave you this number, 63.8, and the actual number is 63.747 that we cannot hold as support. We have to get above that. So we have to get growth and explosiveness above the 63.8 essentially. Like to see us hit the 1272 or the 1618 and get out of here, okay? And even then, we're still trading within my pitch for it for the entire market, okay? So this is, this guys, this this rebound matters a lot. If we hit this, if we hit either of these two patterns on the way down and we rebound and it's just another lower high, you're in a descending market, which makes sense. Again, I know people don't want to hear this. You can't have the dollar do this. You have to understand this. The dollar has an inverse relationship with Bitcoin, okay? So guys who don't understand how investment banks think. I worked for one of the largest investment banks in the world as a vice president for 13 years, okay? I have cousins that work in hedge funds. Guys, most financial institutions view crypto as speculative. Do you know what that means? It means it's not a safe harbor when the economy turns down. If you follow the economy, you would understand that the stock market keeps making new all-time highs, but it's set to slide, okay? Most economists worth their salt, most traders worth their salt know that it's going to slide soon. When stocks slide, this traditional safe haven to go to is gold, but gold's been dramatically underperforming. So gold could have a nice 
I wouldn't use the word parabolic when it comes to gold, but gold could have a very nice rise up to about $3,000, maybe higher. Okay. It's like a, whatever it's at now, 1700, 1600 right now. But what will happen is the dollar will be king. Nobody's going to put money into Bitcoin when it's overpriced like this. Nobody's putting money into some of these alts that make zero dollars revenue when the stock market starts to fall apart. Okay, you just have to understand that's just the facts. These are speculative assets. That's why we all trade here because you can 10x, 20x, 100x your money in the right asset. But you don't put money, good money that is earning investment, earning income, you don't dump that into a speculative asset when the economy starts to fall apart. If you look at the inflation number, you look at the real estate bubble, you look at the stock bubble, all this stuff is going to come down. Bitcoin is going to come down with it because the dollar is going to surge, okay, surge. The dollar is surging now. I predicted this already. I don't even have to look at the charts. I can wake up and look at the DXY. If the DXY keeps going up, I already know what Bitcoin's doing. The only difference is I want to show you patterns. I want to, I want to see the patterns because I want to trade it, okay? Because Bitcoin is going to wave up and down, but if the dollar keeps spiking up like this, Bitcoin is going to have a hard time making anything with a new all-time high. So everybody that updated their thumbnails will be updating it again, and they'll have the faces like this, okay? They'll have their faces like, oh my God, is this really happening? Guys, you have to track the macroeconomics. Now, the bullish side, if the dollar calms down, guys, if the dollar comes down, we get picked up by this pattern or any pattern or some other news comes out, right? Some stimulus comes out for a catalyst, I should say, to, to jump the price up. All we have to do is get above 63.8. Like it doesn't sound like a large feat. And when I say get above it, we got above it here. You have to get above it and hold it as support. That's all you have to do. And why do I say it's all you have to do? Because that is our key rejection point over and over again. Right here, we tested it, got rejected, guys. Over here, tested it and got rejected. Over here, I showed you this yesterday, tested a couple times, got rejected. Tested on that candle right there, got rejected. This is your top of the market for right now, okay? You have to get above this, hold this as support, it means get candles above it like you did there. Come back, test it, maybe test it again, and then come up. You have to get above this line. So this is not like a huge hurdle to cross, but hey, I'm telling you, that's a massive hurdle to cross when you have the dollar doing this, okay? Again, off of a fake Fibonacci pattern when patterns don't work, okay? So I had this captured all the way before we got to D, okay? And this affects our Forex trades. This affects a lot of things. But guys, you got to look at macroeconomics. Look who you're following. Do they track any of this stuff? Probably not, right? They probably just talk about how wealthy they are and how everything's 200K and how XRP is going to $27. <laughs> you got you got to understand economics, right? You can't forecast things out two, three years from now um, without understanding what's happening in the world and of economics, my friends. But anyways, keep your eyes peeled on this, guys. I'd like to see Bitcoin come down, catch a bullish pattern, pump back up. Obviously, the deeper it retraces, if it falls through these patterns, if it gets picked up before them, if it gets picked up before them by as more bars print here, guys, there's opportunity for new patterns to come into play. There's new shapes that could be made, falling wedges, things like that, that are bullish, right? So if everything stays the same and you just keep seeing Bitcoin descend, look for it to get picked up, possibly at 58.9. That first target point is around 58.3. And then coming down here at the 57-ish area, okay? And if it falls through these guys, it's going lower, okay? So I just find it ironic that like the day, <laughs> the same day that and I like, and I like Crypto Kirby, so I'm not throwing shade. But the same day he updated his thumbnail to say 84, 87K incoming, I released my, D, my video saying DXY says Bitcoin will drop, right? And then the day before, Four Flies puts 130K on his thumbnail, guys, Macroeconomics is key in this market. Understand the macroeconomics of what's happening in the world, specifically in the U.S. with the Fed taper, everything like that. How many people talked about the Fed taper on YouTube yesterday in the crypto space? Probably nobody. Maybe Rastani? He's smart. Maybe one or two guys. That's probably it, guys. But this was all predicted. This was all predicted by me. This would happen, okay? So watch it drop down. It's not a huge drop right now. I gave you the box it would drop from. <laughs> it dropped from that wick. It's dropping again. 
and I'm giving you the patterns where it could get picked up. So let's hope this gets up. Let's hope this hits some targets. Let's hope this gets up to the I would like to see it get up here. You know, get to get to the 113, get to 65k. Get above the 638 and let's keep Bitcoin going up, but for right now, guys, it's dropping. And if it comes up and makes a lower high, Descending market, be very aware. Guys, if you like this type of TA, if you enjoy my humor, my sarcasm, we have an awesome community. Look at our Discord link in the video description. Guys, I trade exclusively on BitGet. News came out, what, yesterday, two days ago? A couple of exchanges didn't let people withdraw money. Go to BitGet. I have the link in the video description, $630 in bonuses. Every country in the world can use it. Only need an email, no VPN. More TA coming soon. More excitement coming soon, guys. All right, guys. Happy trading. Talk soon.